pi. In this video, you learn about computing the mean and the standard deviation of a discrete random variable. And the particular example we're going to look at is the number of email messages received per hour for a given person. So let's look at the example. We're given the distribution of the number of messages received per hour. So this given person, it looks like they've received between 10 and 15 email messages per hour. And we're given the associated probability that goes with each of these x values. So the probability they get 10 calls in an hour is 8%, 11 calls in an hour is 15%. It's also nice to check that this is a valid probability mass function. So for the values of x that have probabilities, we certainly hope that this sums to 1. So you can check 0 0.8 plus 0 0.15. If you sum across, the sum is going to be 1. So it is a valid probability mass function. What we'd like to do now is compute the, compute the mean or the expected value of the number of messages they receive per hour. So the notation is expected value of x. And expected value of x really is just a weighted sum of the x values. I mean, 10 occurs 8% of the time, 11 occurs 15% of the tw time, 12 occurs 30% of the time. So the sum is really just a weighted average of the x value. So I'm going to sum over the x's uh, f of x, the probability mass function, times x. So that's a fairly nice definition. And to me, it makes sense you're weighting those x values. So let's go ahead and compute the expected value for this uh, particular example. Expected value of x is, um, let me see, 0.08 times 10 plus 0.15 times 11 plus 0.30 times 12. I'm going to continue this pattern all the way to the last value, 0.07 times 15. When I go ahead and calculate this, I get 12.5 messages per hour. And, and let me remind you, uh, the mean is the longer run average. So it's not like this person uh, going into the next hour, they're going to get 12.5 emails. What this means is on the long run, if every hour, let's say for the next year, we computed the number of email messages they got each hour, and then we took that number, like, so maybe this hour 12, next hour 13, the next hour 10, the next hour 15. If we took all those values and actually averaged them on the long run, we would get 12.5. So again, the mean is a long run average. Okay, so next we want to compute standard deviation, but to do that we need to compute the variance of this random variable first. So variance of x also has a nice formula given in this chapter. Um, this is just f of x times x squared, and after you compute this sum, you're going to subtract off the expected value of x squared. And, and, and also, expected value of x is called mu. So let's just go ahead and write this as subtracting off mu squared. So it's very similar to the calculation we have above, except we're going to square our x values. So this is 0.8 times 10 squared plus 0.15 times 11 squared plus uh, 0.3 times 12 squared, plus we'll go all the way down, 0.07 times 15 squared. And after I compute that sum, what I'm going to do is subtract off the mean squared, and we found the mean to be 12.5, and then I square that. Okay, so that I get to be 1.85. So 1.85 messages, this is the unfortunate part, squared. Uh, when you compute variance, it's in squared units. So sometimes, I mean, I think that's given you a reason of why we want the standard deviation. Sometimes it's hard to think, what does that mean, 1.85 messages squared, because you're in a different unit. So that's why we compute standard deviation. And the standard deviation, we use sigma. That's just going to be the square root of the variance. So in this case, if I take the square root of 1.85 messages squared, we get approximately 1.36 email messages. 
per hour. So on the long run, we're getting about 12.5 messages with a standard deviation of 1.36 messages per hour. So I, I hope this made sense to you. I, again, the mean is a weighted average of the x values, and the standard deviation is really finding the average spread of your x's about the mean. So um, yeah, I hope this worked out for you well and it makes sense, and we'll talk again soon.